For this next design challenge, we're going to use Edison to help us find some radioactive waste at a contaminated site. At this site, we know there are four 55-gallon drums of radioactive waste, but we don't know where they're located at because they're underneath the ground. So we're going to use Edison to help us find those locations. Whenever he finds those locations, he's going to throw his lights on and play a little song for us, and that will communicate to a human where they need to dig to get the radioactive waste out of the ground. On the board here, you will see four white tabs. Those four white tabs are the 55 gallon drums of radioactive waste. When you're designing your program, you should probably design your program to end after it finds the fourth drum because at that point Edison has accomplished the mission. Uh, so make sure you have a counter in your program that stops the program once it gets to four. This is how a successful solution should work. Edison should bounce around this ring. Every time he comes across a little white sheet of paper, which would communicate a 50 gallon drum of radioactive waste, he needs to throw his lights on and also play a little tune. That will communicate to a human that that's where they need to dig in order to remove that radioactive waste. As you can see on these little tabs, these white sheets of paper, I went ahead and I drew little 50 gallon drums of radioactive waste. At the end of this, I'll explain how I made this ring and I'll explain why the play button gets pressed twice in this program. It'll get pressed once on this white sheet of paper and will also get pressed once whenever the program is started inside the ring. After Edison has found four 50 gallon drums of radioactive waste, the program will stop. Notice, the lights are blinking right now. That means the program has stopped. Why? Because Edison found all four barrels of radioactive waste. Some of you are curious how I made this ring. Maybe you want to build it at home. Maybe you want to build it in your classroom. Uh, the bottom of the ring here is made out of quarter inch foam core. Uh, the sides of the ring are made of foam core as well. I used white just to show some contrast in the video. The most important thing here though uh, are the 50 gallon drums of radioactive waste. These are not just regular sheets of white paper. If they were regular sheets of white paper, this little nub on the bottom of Edison, whenever it hit them, it would just push them out of the way. So I did some research and I wanted a low tack adhesive. So I looked at what Post-it, uh, the company Post-it sold, and they made this product, which is basically Post-it notes on a roll. It's a low tack adhesive, so when you bond it down to the board, all surfaces stick down to that board, and when you peel it up, it won't destroy your board. The other thing, some of you are curious why you had to hit the play button once here on this white sheet of paper, and then again here inside the ring. Whenever you turn on the line detection sensor uh, in your program, immediately it does a calibration based off the amount of light that's in the room and the surface it's on. So it's best for this particular program to calibrate Edison on a white sheet of paper here first. And then when you put them into the ring, the reason you had to hit the play button again uh, is because there was an event wait before the loop started for the program that said event wait until the play button is pressed. And once that's pressed, then start the loop. Uh, so hopefully that helps you a little bit at home or in your classroom if you're trying to design a ring like this.